below. F Christopher 100 here, and you already heard about my Super NES version of Street Fighter 2, how bad it is, how it, you know, the controls are kind of ridiculous. Well, now I'm about to tell you about the Street Fighter upgrades. I mean, when my brother got the NES version of Street Fighter 2, he was, you know, excited to see the second one, but then he found out, and I found out, that it was going to be released for the Sega Genesis. But that was ridiculous for me. I mean, I'm not going to spend 200 bucks on another system. I already played the first system on the Super NES. So now, I'm about to tell you how, you, you know, how it happened. But, you know, I don't think I should tell you. Wait, messed up on the story. Sorry about that. But, you know, my brother already had the Sega Genesis and Super NES before he got Street Fighter 2 and Special Championship Edition. But right now, I'm about to tell you about the Super Street, um, sorry, Street Fighter 2 Special Championship Edition on the Sega Genesis. I'm about to play the game for you and how the upgrade is dealt with. I mean, when I played the game, it was good. But the upgrade, how it worked... It kind of looks similar to Street Fighter 2 Turbo, but I'll explain how it is played and also I'll play it for you and how the difficulty is. Now, to put Street Fighter 2 Special Championship Edition on my retro. Let's play it! Okay, Special Championship Edition. Here we come. The volume's a little off, but I'll manage to fix that, okay? It starts with this arcade retro style like they did in the in the arcades. You know, like that. Okay? Special Championship Edition. Now, the difference is you can either try the Champion Edition, which is just the regular Street Fighter, or you try out the Hyper Edition which you can go faster. I'll explain. I'm gonna try the Hyper Edition. Now you pick these characters. I'll pick Ryu. Now, in spite of this game, how it works, you see, you see how the movements go? And for the game itself, I'm surprised. I mean, Look how fast this is. I mean, would you play Street Fighter that fast? Yeah, I guess you would. I mean, when Street Fighter came out, it, 2 came out, it was literally really slow. <laughs> it's like time is going forward. Okay, now I'll try to beat this guy myself. Kinda hard to do it when you're trying to do it so fast. Ugh. I died. So you see about this game, you can go amount of ten times the speed of the regular Street Fighter 2. But for the special championship edition, you don't even get to choose what kind of color you can have Ryu or any other character in the game. Ryu's mostly my favorite. Knock this guy out. Gotta do the Hadouken. Yeah. Okay, come on. Oh. oh, no. I mean, come on. For a game real fast, this is a real speed timer. Come on, I'm gonna to beat this guy. Oh no, there's no chance. 
I can really, I'm really good at Street Fighter, but with this kind of speed, I don't know what the... You know what? I don't even know what they were thinking. I mean, with all the characters and the speed, playing with this kind of, you know, controller, like the Sega Genesis, like six button controller, do you really want to go that fast? I mean, when they invented this, I thought, wow, now I can... Now I can quickly beat Bison in an instant, but no, it's completely ridiculous. No chance of, of ever trying to beat the guys unless you're really, unless you're really a speed player. Well, I'm not much of a speed player, but I've been playing Sonic for years, so. Well, that's my review today, and I hope you enjoyed these last minutes while I try to beat Ken once which probably will never probably happen at this time. So, just watch the humiliation of my of my slowness of not learning how to play a speed game. Christopher 100, signing out.